Good day everyone. So in this video lesson, we will discuss about regression. Linear regression is the simplest and commonly used statistical measure for prediction studies. It is concerned with finding an equation that uses the known values of one or more variables it called the independent or predictor variables to estimate the unknown value or quantitative variable called the dependent or criterion. It is prediction when a variable y is dependent on the second variable x based on the regression equation of a give, given set of data. After a scatter plot is constructed and the value of correlation coefficient is deemed to be significant, then an equation of the regression line is determined. The regression line is the data line to be fit, and it, the closer the point fit the regression line, the higher the absolute value of R and the closer it will be to positive 1 or to negative 1. So the formula for regression line is y prime is equal to a plus b times x. So that is the general form. a is called the y-intercept of the line. And b, this is the slope of the line called the regression or the rate of change of y per unit change in x. So the line that describe the statistical relationship between x and y is called the regression line. So it is a straight line that attempts to predict the relationship between points also known as line of best fit. So the regression line gives an estimate of the mean value of y denoted by y prime given the value of x. So, hence the equation of the regression line is y prime is equal to a plus b times x. So, to solve for b, so we're going to use the formula sum of square of x, y over sum of square of x. And for a, that is the mean of y minus b times the mean of x. So, in order to solve the sum of square of x, y, so that is summation of x, y minus the quantity of summation of x times the quantity of summation of y over n. And to solve for the sum of square of x, that is the summation of x squared minus the uh, quantity summation of x squared over n. So take note that round the values of a and b to three decimal places. So, what are the characteristics of the regression line? First, when b is greater than 0, so your y increases at x, as x increases. So, in this case, we say that y is directly or positively related to x. So, as you can see on the scatter plot, okay, this is the uh, line of the regression. So, that is the positive linear relationship. Another characteristic of the regression line, when b is less than 0, your y decreases as x increases. So in this case, we say that y is inversely or negatively related to x. So this is the line of regression. So that is the negative linear relationship. And also, when b is equal to 0, y is constant and is equal to y-intercept a. So this implies that there is no change in y, whatever x value is. So as you can see in the scatter plot, no? scattered yung mga uh, the, ano natin, points, and it means that there is no relationship. So, for example, a statistics professor at State University wants to see how strong the relationship is between the student's score on a test and his or her grade point average the data obtained from the sample follow. So, the test score, it refers to X and GPA for Y. So, given the test scores 98, 100, 100, 100, 106, 95, 116, 112 with corresponding GPA, that is 2.1, 2.4, 3.2, 2.7, 2.2, 2.3, 3.8, and 
So, in order to solve the equation of the regression, so, first, so, kailangan natin yung table na to. Okay, so, the, in this column, that is the uh, test score, and you get the sum, that is 832, and this one, that is for the GPA, and the sum is 22.1. Next is the xy. So, xy is the product of x and y. So, we're going to multiply 98. 98 times 2.1. The answer is 205.8. And then, same process yung gagawin natin. Okay, 105 times 2.4. So, that will be the answer. So, you can check your senior calculator. And next is x squared. So, we're going to refer for the values of uh, under x no so since x squared yeah so we need to multiply by itself so 98 times 98 is equal to 9604 so ganun din ang gagawin kay 105 so 105 times 105 that is 11025 and so on and for y squared so so y naman tayo titingnan that is 2.1 times 2.1 the answer is 4.41 same with 2.4 times 2.4 that is 5.76 so ano ba yung kailangan nating uh, data dito so kailangan natin ang sum of square of xy so using the formula so yung summation of xy natin that is 2321 minus the summation of x which is 832 times the summation of y, that is 22.1 over n. So, yung n natin dito is the number of pairs. So, ilan ba yung pairs natin dito? 8. So, that is over 8. So, using your calculator, okay, that is uh, equal to 22.7. Another is the sum of squared of your x. So, this is summation of x squared. So, that is 86,890. Minus the summation of x, which is 832, then squared pa natin over 8. Okay, you can check the answer using your calculator. So, the answer is 362. Okay, using the computed value, so the values needed for the equation are, yes, that is 362. And for the sum of square x, y, 22.7. And how to get the mean of x no so the summation of x over n that is 832 divide 8 the answer is 104 and to find the mean of y so the summation of y over n that is equal to 22.1 over 8 equal to 2.76 okay you can check your uh, using your calculator now we can solve the value of b since uh, we already get the value of this so, we can solve now the value of B. So, that is 22.7 divided by 362. The answer is 0 0.063. So, kasabi ko kanina, take note for the uh, forgetting the values of A and B. So, make sure naka 3 decimal places. And now, we can solve the value of A. So, A is the mean value of Y minus B times uh, the mean of X. So, what is the mean of y? That's 2.76 minus, so yung b natin is 0 0.063 times yung mean ng x is 104. So, compute 2.76 minus the quantity of 0 0.063 times 104, that is negative 3.792. So, now we can get now the uh, equation of the regression line. So, this is now the equation of the regression line. Y prime is equal to A plus B times X. So, ang gagawin lang natin, papalitan lang natin sa A and B. So, A is equal to 2.76. So, that is, hence, the equation is negative 3.792 plus 0.063X. So, pinalitan na natin yung A natin, which is negative 3.792. And then, yung B that is 0 0.063. Okay. This is now the equation of the regression. So, let's apply. No? Balikan natin yung problem. 
let's say uh, the test score is 120. What will be the estimated GPA? So using the uh, equation of the regression line, we can estimate the gen uh, the grade point average if the test score is 120. So what you're going to do is substitute in the variable x. Uh, 120 no you are going to substitute 120 in the variable x so that is negative 3.792 plus 0 0.063 times 120 and that is 3.768 or that is 3.8 so the estimated gpa if the test score is 120 that is 3.8 Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.